Sky News can reveal the AFL has launched an internal investigation into the league's handling of a serious sexual abuse complaint. A female umpire alleges that she was repeatedly assaulted by another staff member and accused senior management and the integrity unit itself of taking too long to act. In this exclusive report from Simon Love, we show you an internal email that finally acknowledged the serious and criminal nature of the allegations. First, the whistle was blown on female umpire abuse. Now, the allegations are so serious, the AFL is in damage control. Rob Ald, an Australian Football League executive, has emailed the alleged complainant of sexual abuse with an apology and a concession. I acknowledge that more could have been done at the time to follow up with you. In May 2022, the complainant disclosed her case to pioneer female AFL umpire Eleni Glufstus and another league staffer. They in turn reported the allegations to the integrity unit. It is alleged the perpetrator sexually assaulted the complainant on multiple occasions while she was umpiring and training. The complainant telling Ms Glufstus, to make matters worse, I know I'm not the only female umpire he has done this to. I am the only one who came forward though. But it took the AFL an entire year to take the complaint seriously. Only after Sky News first broke an investigation related to multiple cases of female umpire abuse, leading to a league staffer being terminated after raising the cases with the league. The complainant was contacted by Rob Auld on Tuesday evening. Your allegations are highly concerning and are of a criminal nature. As such, I believe it to be appropriate, in line with our respect and responsibility policy, to escalate your allegations. I am sorry to hear of your experience in umpiring and want to assure you we are committed to making the changes I know unnecessary to ensure a safe, welcoming and supportive environment for all female umpires. Whistleblower Libby Toovey, who's currently taking the AFL to fair work over her termination, says the league has dropped the ball. It's too late. You have to do it at the time. You have to believe these women you have to understand and listen to them, that they are telling the truth, they're not making it up. Libby Tuvey's case before fair work continues, while the AFL Integrity Unit continues its investigations into the assault allegations the complainant raised. She still is considering reporting it to police. After the AFL admitted, it dropped the ball. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne. Sky News put detailed questions to the AFL at 8 o'clock this morning after informing the league of the new allegations on Tuesday evening. The AFL has just requested more time for a formal response to our story and we will bring you that update and the very latest as it comes to hand.